I studied Spanish at Calvin College and elementary education as well, so that was kind of a unique combination. My major was Spanish. Mm -hmm. While I was there, I was had the privilege to study in Spain for a semester, and that's where my love for the Spanish language grew. While I was there, I was volunteering in a second grade classroom, helping these kids learn English. So once a week I would go about a half hour walk out of town to go volunteer with these kiddos. I realized that the potential for second language learning was possible um, at a young age. So when walking back from class one of those days, I realized I needed to help provide opportunities for children in the United States to be exposed to the Spanish language and culture. The Speakeasy Spanish program is an extended opportunity for children in, at elementary grade levels to be exposed to the Spanish language and culture. We do that by having them for an extended period of time once a week. So children are exposed to content, grade level content. For example, they get a little bit of math, they get some social studies and some language arts, but it's all done within the Spanish language. So they're learning content, but they're learning it through a foreign language, so they're getting the benefit of reinforcement of what they're learning in the regular classroom in addition to gaining the skills of the second language. Mr. Once. Si, si. Quieres conejitos? Cuatro o cinco? Cinco. Uno. Cuanto más? Muy bien. Dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Sí. Spanish is historically and traditionally in the United States is taught by a, a grammar translation method, which is, some of us probably remember that from high school, where you conjugate verbs and you learn a list of vocabulary words and then you end up not being able to use it in a functional way. Uno con... Uno, muy bien. Dos, sea, ven. Uno con uno, ahora dos con dos. Conecta, dos con dos. What's different with this program is we really try to model it after first language learning. So if you think about how a child learns their first language, they're listening, you're singing songs with them, you're playing games with them, reading stories with them. The language is relayed to them in a, in a meaningful context. So this is much like that, especially at the elementary levels. We're playing lots of games, we're reading stories, we're singing songs. The language is acquired rather than learned about. As Christians, there is a tremendous need, I believe, for the study of foreign languages. 75% um, of the world's population functions in more than one language on a daily basis. So the opportunities, of course, abound for that. The blessing of a, foreign, of a second language is that you can be hospitable to those in your own country who speak another language, but you can also go and be a stranger in a foreign country and learn the language of the people who are there. The opportunities for ministry and relationship abound when students are exposed to a second language.